Alicia and Jacob. Today I'm going to be making a motorbike diaper cake. So if you want to know how to make it, just keep watching. I don't want to give him kisses. No. Oh, yucky kiss. You kiss the boy. Oh, big cookies. To make a motorcycle diaper cake, you will need a soft toy that is about 25 to 35 centimeters. You do not want it too big or too small because you don't want it to fall off the diaper cake. The one I'm using is 25 centimeters. It's a cute little hippo and I only paid $1.86. It was on clearance from Target, so it was so adorable and such a bargain. You will also need some nappies. The brand I'm using are Huggies and I'll be using about 34 nappies. If you are planning on using bigger nappies, you'll probably need a little less nappies. You will also need a toilet roll or a paper towel roll. You will also need a bottle. My friend, the person who I'm giving the gift to, is planning on breastfeeding so I thought it would just be a better option to get a no spill cup. You will need some rubber bands. Make sure they're really stretchy because you'll need it to go over the wheels. You will also need some pins. These little pins. I'll just show it to you. So these are the little pins that you will need. You will also need some tissue paper or some tissues, a pair of socks, a lighter, a pair of scissors, and you'll also need some ribbon. This is the color ribbon I'm using. I've got one that's 3.8 centimeters and the other one is one centimeter. You will also need two blankets that are about 80 centimeters by 80 centimeters. You will also need two bibs, a glue gun with a glue stick. You will also need a cake tin or a pot or something that's eight inches. Usually if you're using a baking tin or pot or a cake tin or anything like that I would recommend using a hand towel inside it so nothing from the pot ends up on the clean nappies. So I'm gonna start by showing you how to make the wheel. You will need about 17 nappies so what you'll be doing is putting one nappy like this and just going around in a circle And just push this part in and and just put your elastic band around it and then you'll be able to adjust it when you take it out so pretty much what you want to do is make a circle in the middle so just Pull some parts in. I'm just going to keep pulling inside to make it a little bit tighter and pretty much you just want a nice circle in the middle like that. Okay. So once you have made your nappy wheel, you will need to make a second one. So once you have made both of them, turn your glue gun on, get your thicker ribbon. You can pretty much use any color you would like, I'm just using this color, and a pair of scissors and you're going to be wrapping it where the rubber band is. So what you're going to do is just get the ribbon and just measure it out. So just get your lighter and just Seal the end so it doesn't start falling apart. To help you while you wrap the ribbon around, you can always just get your toilet paper roll and just put it in the middle just to make sure that the hole doesn't end up covering up when you're wrapping the ribbon around. So it will just make it a lot easier as well. 
So choose the side that you do not like that you would try to cover up a little bit. So just put a little bit of that underneath and just wrap it around. Just wrap it around like that. And that's where you're going to be gluing it down with the glue gun. Just to help you a little bit, I'm just going to put the pin in place for now. So I'm just going to get my glue gun and just put a little bit of glue on it. And just stick it down a little bit on this side as well. And I can get rid of this pin. And I can take this out. So now we have to do it to the second one as well. So this is what my diaper cake wheels look like. Next, grab your blanket. Make sure the side with the tag is up. So what you're going to be doing is folding it in half. It doesn't need to be completely perfect, just make sure both the sides are even. So you're just going to fold your blanket over. I'm just going to start off by just putting the pin on one side and just making it even. So you probably want it to be about one and a half centimetres to two centimetres. And I'm just going to fold it over. You'll be able to get the pins out as well if you want to, or you can just leave the pins in there for now until you finish wrapping it up. Okay, so you're just going to put the pins on each of the sides. So that's pretty much what your blanket should look like. And the next step is to grab both the wheels and you're going to thread it through. So start by grabbing one of the wheels. So that one will be the first wheel that you're going to put it through will be the front wheel. So just grab the blanket and put it through here just like that just do remember there is the pin still on it so you just want to be careful so the next step is to grab the second wheel and pretty much just put one of the ends in like that and pull it through and then grab the other end and pull that through as well Now make sure both your ends with the part that you glued down are on the inside bit so you can't see it. So make sure it's not too tight that it's going to fall apart but make sure it is firm. Doing. Remember this is the back wheel. You just, so what you're going to be doing is just rolling it backwards and just tucking it in. So again with this side just rolling it and tucking that in. And what you can do is just put a pin in there just to make sure it stays inside. Just a little pin like that. I'm just going to grab one as well on this side and just putting the pin inside. If you need a second pin, you can use a second pin, which I'm going to do. I'm going to put the pin in like that. 
So I've just got the pin there. And so once you finish that step, you're going to be getting the second blanket. I'm just going to be using this polka dot blanket. And you're going to be rolling it up exactly the same way you rolled up the first one. So what you're going to do with your second blanket is feed it through the front wheel. Remember in the back wheel we have tucked it in so the re that's the reason why you didn't tuck it in the front wheel. So you're just going to push the blanket through. So as you feed it through, if you've got a pin in the middle, just take it out. It's just folding it so they're both even. So once they're even, you'll be grabbing your bibs. So choose which one you want in the front. I chose this one for the front and that one for the back. So you'll be putting those on like that. Grab your bottle and put that over here. So the best place to put the other blanket is if you're using a sippy cup bottle like me, there's a little part that comes in that's thinner. So I'm just going to put it there so we'll be able to hold it a lot better. I'm just going to get a rubber band for a minute and just put it there. So to hold this together, I'm going to be using some ribbon and I'm going to take the rubber band off. But if you wanted to, you could use one or two chain link toys. I couldn't find any. So when I'm, if you wanted to, you could use one of those. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm mentioning chain link toys, I'll insert a picture here to show you. You can just adjust it if there's any things that need to be fixed up. So I'm going to just take the rubber band off now. And I'm just going to get the ribbon. And I'm going to make a cute little bow. Cut it. And I'm just going to tie a bow. So make sure it's nice and tight over here. So I just made the bow on it. And I'm just going to cut the ribbon to make it a little bit shorter. I'm just going to cut it on an angle. But and just seal it up a little bit. So the next step is to get your toilet paper roll and just cut it through the middle. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So what you're going to do is get your cardboard, make sure they're both about the same size. What you're going to do is take your pin off and just tuck it in there. It doesn't matter if you can see a little bit on the top because you're going to be putting a sock on it. So just grab the other pin off and do the same. Like that. And now you're going to be grabbing your socks and you're going to be stuffing them with a bit of tissue paper or some tissues. I'm using about two tissues. So just like that, two of them. And you're just going to put them over the handle parts. So just like that. Just like that and to make it stay up a bit more I'm just going to get a couple of pins and just pin the back over here. So now for the last step you just grab your soft toy and just put them on. So I just cut the tag off. So to help the soft toy stay in place I'm just going to put a couple of pins. I'm just going to pin this into the toilet paper roll part just so the soft toy will stay in place and I'm also just going to pin one down here so I'm just grabbing just a little corner of the soft toy and just pinning it down and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side so just like that. So that's how my motorcycle diaper cake turned out.
So this step is optional, but if you are going to give it as a gift, just to make sure everything stays clean, I'm just going to be wrapping it in some cellophane. I just finished wrapping it up with the cellophane and I put a cute little bow on top of it. So that's what it looks like with the plastic cellophane wrap on it. Still looks very cute. I do recommend you wrap it up, especially if you're not going to give it away on the day you make it. It will just keep everything cleaner and if you do end up deciding you want to give it without the plastic wrap, it's not that hard to take it off as well. <laughs> I just said no! Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you I see him on the camera? Can what, what do you have a huggies? Yeah, that's his nose. Yeah. Can you give him a huggies and a kiss? No. Oh no. Well, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.